What's going on everyone? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Today I have a really cool video where I'm going to be showing you the limitations to the data merge function inside Adobe InDesign. Make sure you stick to the end because I'm going to be showing you a couple workarounds and how I usually deal with some of these limitations. Now I covered the data merge tool in a previous video so I'm going to be leaving that link up here if you want to learn how to easily automate and batch create designs inside of Adobe InDesign using data merge, go ahead and check that video out now. Full disclaimer here, some of these limitations can actually be solved by using scripts or by using external software that can work together with Adobe InDesign. Today, however, I'm just going to show you the limitations within InDesign and a couple workarounds if you don't want to spend the time or the money getting external softwares. Number one, it is not possible to superscript special characters such as the register symbol or the copyright symbol. So let's take a look here inside my data sheet. As you can see, my register symbol here is superscript. But when I go to InDesign and I hit the preview button here, you can see that my register sign is not superscript. Now, there is a few exceptions. For example, this brand here uses a font called Termina Bold. And this font actually has the superscript formatted into the font already, so it comes out correctly. But not all fonts have this. So if you're using Futura or you're using Helvetica, you're going to run into this issue. Number two, it is not possible to format a paragraph inside your data sheet and have it data merge correctly. So take a look here. I have formatted my data accordingly, how I want it to appear inside a paragraph. But when I um, hit update here and then hit the preview, you can see that it's all messed up. It's missing part of my paragraph and you can see there's more to this paragraph. And actually when I go to page two, you're going to see how messed up this is. Here it is. So it took the next line of that paragraph and it put it into the next line of the merge which really messes up the whole um, thing here. Number three, when you're in preview mode, it is not possible to edit a single record without affecting all of the instances within that record. So in this case, I would really like for this to be in two lines. I want the Ignite Sports to be above the letter top. So, when I go ahead and move this over, it fixes it for this page. But as you can see, when I go over to the next page, it also altered the bounding box of my type there. Um, therefore, giving me some hyphenation here that I really don't want. And if I click in there, try to fix it, it won't really fix. So in other words, if you adjust anything, for a certain page is going to apply to the rest of the pages and in every instance that is linked to that data. Number four, there is no way to create rules or to create dynamic content when using data merge. So let's take this for example. What I mean by dynamic content is there is no way to tell InDesign, hey, if there is no data here, go ahead and move the data that follows it up. So for example, if I didn't have the sizes here, I would like for the color to move up in that space, but there is really no way for you to um, set those types of rules. So in other words, you kind of have to do this manually. Number five, it is not possible to data merge directly into a table inside Adobe InDesign. So here I have the circles and they're not a table. I was going to use a table, but the same process to get this fixed actually applies here. So a workaround that I have into 
doing separate variations of information here, I, I actually have to create the maximum amount of sizes here that I have. So in this case, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm actually going to insert seven columns here, and then I'm going to insert each one of these sizes um, in there. So I'm going to speed it up. Essentially, I'm going to fill in all of the sizes that I have. And then you'll see that I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tags, and I am tagging all of those to each individual piece of information. And if you had a table, you would basically click in the cell, link it to one of these, click on the cell, link it to the next one, so on and so forth. As you can see here, I have all of these linked. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about, the dynamic content. You know how I have um, all the way up to 2XL. Well, you know, there's no, there's really no way to tell InDesign or to prompt InDesign to delete the last two circles that have no information on them. Now it's time to talk about the solution or a workaround to some of these limitations. The workaround that I use for some of these limitations is very simple. When I know I'm not working on a highly structured document and I know that I'm going to have some limitations, what I like to do is I like to use data merge to get me to the halfway mark. Being able to use data merge to input data or copy or even images is really helpful. What I do from there is I create a merge document that then opens up in a new project window and I begin to manually edit some of the issues caused by these limitations. If you have any questions regarding any of these limitations, or perhaps you have a solution to some of these limitations, I would like to hear from you in the comments. Please remember to like and subscribe as I'll be making more content around this topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.